Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Six killed in a massive 100 car pileup in United States after the dust storm. At least six people have died Monday after a dust storm caused visibility to plummet along the US highway leading to crashes involving nearly 100 vehicles police said. Some 40 to 60 passenger vehicles along with the 30 commercial vehicles crashed in the midwestern state of Illinois due to the excessive winds blowing dirt from farm fields across the highway, the Illinois State Police said in a statement. Two semi-trucks caught fire because of the late morning crashes which occurred along the two-mile stretch of the Interstate 55, the statement said. The highway is major thoroughfare connecting cities like Chicago and St. Louis. More than 30 people were taken to the hospital with the injuries ranging from the minor to life-threatening, police said. Victims range from the ages 2 to 80. Images published from the scene showed firefighters in the dusty, hazy aftermath, in some cases in a near zero visibility conditions as the smoke and sometimes fires rose from the vehicles, some of which had current off the highway. Eight people died in a similar accident in Utah in 2021 when the sandstorm caused a series of the crashes ensnaring 22 vehicles. Sand and dust storm usually occur when the strong winds lift large amounts of the sand and dust from bad dry soils into the atmosphere. Over the last decade, scientists have come to realize that the impacts on the climate human health and environment and many socio-economic sectors. WMO members are at the vanguard in evaluating these impacts and developing products to the guide preparedness, adaptation and mitigation policies. Sand and dust storms are common meteorological hazards in arid and semi-arid regions. They are usually caused by the thunderstorms or strong pressure gradients associated with the cyclones which increase the wind speed over the wide areas. These strong winds lift large amounts of the sand and dust from the bad dry soils into the atmosphere transporting them hundreds of the thousands of the kilometers away. Once released from the surface, dust particles are raised to high levels of the troposphere by the turbulent mixing and convective updrafts. They can then be transported by the wind for the length of the time depending on their size and meteorological conditions before being pulled back down to the surface again. As larger particle sediments more quickly than smaller ones, there is a shift towards the smaller particle sizes during the transport. Dust is also washed out of the atmosphere by the precipitation. The average lifetime of the dust particles in the atmosphere ranges from the few hours for the particles with the diameter larger than 10 micrometers to more than 10 days for the sub-micrometric ones. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.